give um. Janet Gray. Janet Gray, um.
main ones that experienced the Toastmasters that I spoke to said was the thing that helped them the most. It can be a little bit awkward when you first start, but this is the one that they said was quite useful. Now, if one of those works, which sometimes you do, no matter how much you practice, and the one of the other people, a media coach called TJ Walker recommended you make a no arm sign and you make it really tiny and you stick it on something that you look at frequently like a watch or your phone and with that apparently over the course of a week or two you will gradually reduce your hands. I've only just started to do that so I can't tell you whether that one works but it's worthwhile throwing into the mix as well. And the other main thing to do is just to make sure that the content of what you're saying is interesting. If what you're saying is boring, people are going to notice the ums and ahs. If what you're saying is interesting and engaging and provided there aren't too many ums and ahs, people will tend to filter them out. So relax. Out there in the big wide world, you're going to come across a truckload of arms and arms because it is a natural part of speech. But to improve our own presentations, we can try to reduce our arms and arms. And as I've shown you, there are actually lots of things that you can do. And some of them may even work. <laughs> so, um, good luck! <laughs>